Today we'll do histograms using our studio and more specifically ggplot. To start with, we'll generate some random data. To begin, we need to set the package tidyverse if it's needed. If it's not needed, we can leave it like this. And we will generate the data. We'll start with vectors. The first one is city. Then we'll generate gender, and then salary, then age, then education. And eventually, we'll wrap everything up with a data frame to a data frame called data. And this is how data looks like. It has 2,000 observations. The first one is a male from Paris. He earns 2,637. He's 47 years old, and he's a doctor. Then we have a female from Paris who's earning 2,725. She's 50, and her education is high school, and so on and so forth. So to start the uh, ggplot, to start the the plots that we are interested in, we'll start with a function called call1. It's a color and palette colors, and basically what it does, it generates random colors for the plots that we're going to use. So we'll start with, with this, and then we can generate the first uh, plot. Now, if, if we're not happy with the, if we're not happy with the result, we can regenerate this over and over again until we're happy with the results, like this and like that like this and like that and say that we're satisfied with this one now we're going to make things a bit more complicated we'll start with the ggplot um where we'll add uh to the columns using the facet grid we'll add the gender so basically what we're going to do we're going to split them by columns to each one of the genders then we can do the same thing with uh, again with facet grid and split them into the rows by genders. Then we can add more element, and another element, and we can add the, the city element. So effectively, this is going to look like this. It's a bit more, uh, it's a bit heavier uh, plot to generate, so it takes a bit more time. But basically, this is how it looks. Uh, and if I, I, if I'd start, I'd start with the gender and then city. But if I could have done the opposite, and then I'm gonna, I, I would have had. LA and then female and male, and then London and female and male, and New York and female and male, and Paris, and then female and male, rather than the other way around. So this could have always been, it could have also been done. Then we're gonna uh, do the same thing only with columns. So this is how it's gonna look, it's gonna look like, and it's, it's basically it's the same thing, only with the columns rather than with the rows. So and everything is based upon the same element, the same coloring element. The last plot that we can do basically combines both rows and columns for gender and city. And effectively, this is how it's done. It has, uh, we have four on two matrix, and it looks like that. So basically, this is how we do histograms using RStudio with ggplot.